Hi guys, Carla here for another video using our Yeet WooCommerce HX product filter plugin. Today I want to talk to you about an option that has been requested by our customers and that is to automatically populate the terms in your filter every time you add a new tag or attribute to WooCommerce. So for instance, we had a customer that had a filter by color and she wanted her filter to automatically update every time she added a new color to her attributes. Then we had another customer that had a filter by brand and he wanted the same thing done every time he added a new tag. So you can do this by using our new option, populate filter automatically. And I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time you have a new video for you. Now let's get to it. Okay guys, so this is the site that I will be working on for this video, the Women Park Shop, again. As you know, I have several filters here. I have a filter by brand, a filter by size, a filter by category. Anyways, the one that I will be using first is my filter by brand, where I have three options. And this filter was created with tags. So, first of all, we're going to go to my dashboard Yeet Ajax product filter sub menu and I will be choosing the preset that I have on that side which is the women preset. Now let's expand filter by brand, scroll down a bit and you'll see that we have a new option which is the auto populate option and underneath that option I have the option to choose terms um, basically the ones that I want to include in this filter. So in my brand filter, I have added the terms Adidas, Gucci, and Guess. Now, if I turn this on, if I enable the auto populate option, the other one disappears. This is because it would automatically add any tags or attributes that I add to another product. So save filter, save preset, and let's go to my site first just to show you that nothing has changed here because I have products that have the brands Adidas, Gucci or Guess. So this has been automatically updated and now let me go back to my dashboard to try and add two more tags to the brands. So products tags I have the same ones here, Adidas, Gucci, and Guess. Let me add Dior and Levi's. There you go. Now let's go to all products and choose at least two items to have those brands one each. Um, Animal shirt. Let's go with Levi's, there you go, update, always update, and let's choose another product, black dot shirt, and Dior, update, and now I haven't touched anything in my preset nor in my filter, so let me go back to my site, refresh, and there you go. It has automatically added the two brands that I just added before to my tags and then to my products. I didn't have to change anything in my preset screen, okay? Now, this is obviously a good option for simple filters that have only text options, right? Now, if you want to auto-populate a filter that has either color swatches or images, you would need to get a plugin for that because it's not just text. So that's where our Yeetbook Commerce Color and Label Variations plugin comes in. Let's go back to my dashboard. Of course, I have already installed our plugin before. And let me go to Attributes. So now if I go to my color attribute right here, now with our newly installed plugin, you see that I have the option 
to select a color swatch for each one of these terms. So, for black, let me select the color black, of course. Update. And if we go back, you see that now I have the color swatch right here. So, let me choose a color swatch for each one of these colors. Okay, so now as you can see, I have already set up a color swatch for each one of these terms. Now, let's go to Yeet, Aging Product Filter. Let's choose our preset again. And this one is the filter by color. And let's auto populate the filter once again. Enable, save filter, save preset. Okay, so now let's go back to my side. Let's refresh the side. And if we scroll down, there we go. There I have the color swatches that I just chose in my attributes page. And now let's create a new color. Back to my dashboard, to products attributes, color. And I'm going to create the orange color. You can just add new color and then select the color swatch from here. I'm just going to select it right here and we said this is going to be orange so maybe something like this add new color and let's give a product this color edit attributes color add orange save attribute update always and i'm not going to touch my preset nor my filter i'm just going to go back to my side refresh and there's my new color orange and here's the one item that I have in the orange color. The filter was automatically updated because I created the term in the attributes page and then I assigned that term to a product. So there you go. That's how you can automatically populate the terms in your filter. Okay guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.